Professor Black Ops, let's get it. Come on, Octa. Y'all one of the top security firms on the planet. What's going on? Let's check out the couple articles I got on it. Octa shares fell 11% after the company says client files were accessed by hackers via its support system. You know the hackers going to get in by your weakest link. Come on, man. We got to get the support system up there. So there you see the key point. Cybersecurity firm said an unidentified hacker had access to the company's support system and viewed client files. Shares dropped 11.5% on the news. So that's why cybersecurity is super valuable. So, you know, they probably lost about a couple hundred million with that 11% drop. The breach did not impact Octa's product offering, according to the company, which are used by some of the largest companies in the world. So the largest companies in the world <laughs> want to make sure your support systems aren't getting hacked either. So shares of security firm Okta closed down 11.5 percent after the company said an un unidentified hacking group had access to files uh, of certain Okta customers had uploaded to Okta support system. So a lot of times in those support systems, you got IP addresses, versions of software talking about how and to us. Uh, IPs of the uh, routers and switches that got transversed to get to, get to Octave and stuff. So hacker, Octa said the hackers were able to access the system using stolen credentials. Octa's customer offers include product service were not impacting fully operational. Some of the largest company that Octave, uh, that uses Octa streamline their login and identity management, including FedEx, Zoom, and to the company. That makes Okta high value targets for threat actors who, in worst case scenario, was hypothetically gain access to a dozen of other companies if successful in breaching Okta defenses. The breach disclosed uh, Friday does not impact client system, just the support platform Okta used to help diagnose issues. We have notified impacted customers and taken measures to protect all of our customers, the company said. So that was kind of the high overview. Let's kind of dig in a little more. Um, bleeping computer actually got into the, the tech part of it. So let's go check it out. Like we said, Octave said the support systems were breached by using stolen credentials. We saw that in the article. Other article, let's dig in a little deeper. Octa said uh, attackers accessed files containing cookies and session tokens uploaded by the customers to a support system after breaching it using stolen credentials. Right. So <laughs> when you start uploading stuff to your uh, your vendors, you need to be taking out cookies and session tokens. Right. So in case they get hacked, the third actor was able to view file uploads by certain active customers as part of recent support cases said Octave Chief Security Officer Dave Bradbury. It should be noted that Octave Support's case system is separate from the production uh, Octave system, which is fully operational and it has not been impacted. Octa uh, CISO added that the incident did not impact Auth or uh, CIC case system. Octave notified our customers whose Octave environment and support tickets were impacted by the incident. And those who haven't uh, received an alert are not affected. So once again, it was the session tokens and the cookies were exposed. While the company has yet to provide details on what the customer information was exposed or accessed in the breach, the support case system breach and attack also used stored HTTP archives files used to replicate users or administrative errors to troubleshoot various issue reported by the users. So. Uh, I guess they call them the hard files. When I used to work on Oracle, you have to generate these files. So it makes it easy for them to recreate, once again, those errors to figure out what's happening. They also contain sensitive data, such as uh, cookies, session tokens, which threat actors could use to hijack customers' account. The hard files represent a recording of browser activities and possibly contain sensitive data, including contacts on a page, vi page visited, Headers, cookies, and other data Octave explains on their support portal. While this allows Octave stats to replicate activities and troubleshoot malicious actors could use these files to impersonate you. The company worked with the effective customers during the incident investigation, 
revoking session tokens embedded in the shared hard file. It now advises our customers to sanitize what we were just talking about, to sanitize their hard files before sharing that to ensure they include that they do not include credentials, cookie, and session tokens. So that's one thing you need to work with your vendor to actually see what they're needing. Then once again, your base um, process and procedure should be once again get rid of uh, session tokens, uh, cookies. Uh, in, embedded passwords in there if, if you're doing that, which you shouldn't, but I still see that a lot. Octa also shared a list of indicator of compromise observed in the event investigation, including IP addresses, where advisors use agent link to the attacker. And Octa spokesperson did not respond to question regarding the data breach and how many customers have been affected. Instead, the spokesperson said the support system is separate from the production active servers, which is fully operational, has not been impacted. We have not we have notified impacted customers and take measures to protect all our customers. So that's cool. That means they're training everybody octaves on the same page. Production system was not touched. <laughs> right. Shout out to them. The breach discovered by Beyond Trust after the breach attempt. Identity management Beyond Trust said it was one of the affected customers and provided additional insight into the incident. Beyond Trust Team detected and blocked an attempt to log in into an in-house Octave Administrator account on October, on October the 2nd using cookies stolen from the Octave support system. While the Beyond Trust contacted the Octave and provided them with the forensic data showing their support organization was compromised, it took Octave over two weeks to confirm the breach. That is not cool, man. Come on, Octave, two weeks. Y'all big time security uh, firm. We raised our concerns on the breach on Octave on October the 2nd. Having received no acknowledgement from Octave of a possible breach, we persisted with escalation within Octave until October 19, when Octave security leader, leadership notified us that they had indeed experienced some breach and we were one of the affected customers beyond trust said. Um, I go back and forth. You don't want to overreact, but I think they at least should have uh reached out to be on trust to have some kind of dialogue those are two big companies so that's a, that's a little surprising beyond trust said the attack was thwarted by custom policy controls due to the limitation of active security model malicious actors were able to perform a few confined actions despite this the company said the attacker did not gain access to any of its system and its customers were not impacted so beyond trust shows you their timeline so from an incident response, that's how you need to be keeping track of your incidents, right? So when you file or or if, or if Beyond Trust wants to sue Octave for being negligent, right? Now they have their trail of their action item and their, their um, we call them their report. Oh, Cloudflare was also affected. Cloudflare was dis also discovered malicious activity linked to Octave breach on its server Wednesday. While this was troubling security incident, the security incident response team real time detection and prompt response enabled containment and minimize the impact of Cloudflare system and the data. We have verified no cl Cloudflare customer information or system were impacted by this event. The attacker leveraged authentication tokens stolen from the Octave support system to pivot into Cloudflare. Uh, octave instance using an open session with oh wow administrative privileges cloudflare contacted octave according to the incident 24 hours before they were alerted of the breach and it appears that in our case the threat actors were able to hijack the session token from a support ticket which was, was created by a cloudflare employee using the token extracted from octave the threat actor accessed cloudflare systems on october 18th in this sophisticated attack we observed threat actors compromise two separate Cloudflare employees account within the Octave platform. Uh, multiple security events in less than two years. Uh, last year, Octave disclosed some of its customer data was exposed after the lapse data uh, extortion. Group gained access to administrative console in January 2022. There was a one-time password delivered to Octave customers over SMS, which was stolen by the Scatter Swine Threat Group which breached cloud communication company Twilio in 2022. Octave's own authentication service provider, uh, Zero, also disclosed September 
that some of the older source code repository was stolen from environments using an unknown method. Come on, Octave, y'all got to get it together. So, Professor Black Ops, go out there and double check your Octave instance, man. They seem to be slipping on the job. Uh, Professor Black Ops, please subscribe.